Hello pet parents, this is Dog Coach Francis and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about things to consider when adopting a new puppy or a new dog. So are you ready? Let's start. To make it easy and simple to understand, we are going to use the acronym TRAIN or T-R-A-I-N. T stands for time. So if you're a working professional or maybe a student or maybe a stay-at-home parent, Think about how much time you can actually give to your dog. Puppies will need a lot of it. It's like raising a human kid or raising another dog. Think about how much time you can dedicate to your dog. If you have working hours between eight to five with no breaks in between, it might be impossible to even potty train your dog. If you are a work at home mom, how much time can you dedicate to your dog versus the other chores that you have at home? If you are a student, what time do you go to school? I understand during this pandemic, we are usually at home, working from home, or maybe doing your online classes, but how much time can you actually allot for your new dog or for your new puppy? Think about the chores that you have to do when it comes to taking care of your dog. You have to take them out for potty for every two to three hours. You have to give them their meals. Puppies would probably need between three to four or five meals a day. Yeah. Think about giving them water or even just socialization, spending time with your dog. Think about the finances. Think about your finances. Having a new dog or a new puppy will incur costs. Think about the money you will be spending with your dog's vaccinations, vitamins, leash, dog food, and a whole other stuff not to mention their shampoo, which would probably cost more than my shampoo. So you have to consider all those things before getting a puppy. Moving on, let's go to R stands for research. Research for potential dog breeds and think about the personality that you want or you have. The dogs and the humans need to have a perfect match between their personalities. If you are an active person, then having a Sabrian Husky, maybe a boxer, would be well suited. Maybe even an Alaskan Malamute. If you're more of like a couch potato type, then I would probably recommend a Shih Tzu and maybe a Maltese or even a Chihuahua. But again, they have their own personalities as well. Think about how you can incorporate the needs of your dog between your needs. It's, it's always a balance between what you want and what the dog needs. You cannot just think that, you know what, I'm gonna get a Serbian Husky, but I don't have that time to spend and walk around the village. Then maybe you will have a problem with your Huskies because your Husky would be like a super car that you're driving in EDSA. Not recommended. When you're researching, make sure that you also research about, not just about the dog breed, but also about the breeders. Because there are some breeders who would probably just want to take their money and not really think about doing their own research, making sure that they give you a healthy and best tempered dog for your need. And medyo marami ramian. So better be careful and only get your dog from professional, responsible, and ethical breeders. Don't just get the dog off from the internet. Research about responsible breeders. It doesn't mean that a, an Instagram account has around 48,000 followers or more, even just 3,000 followers, would mean that they are already responsible or even ethical. A lot of them are just after your money. And what happens when you get those puppies from those sketchy breeders? Well, you pay the price in the long run once that puppy turns aggressive or probably is sick when you bring them home. So always do your research about the dog breed, about the dog breeder, and think about the potential cost about it. There are some online quizzes that you could probably take for free to see if your personality would be a perfect match for a particular dog breed that you're thinking. Or maybe they can help you match what you want and what kind of dog would probably fit your lifestyle. Don't get a dog just because it looks cute. Make sure it matches your lifestyle and it matches your personality. By the end of the day, 
the needs of the dog and the needs of the human should be evened out, should be very compatible. And that would make sure that you don't have problems in the long run. Hey, ask around. Joining a community of professionals or fellow pet parents would probably help you a lot in learning to understand what you're going into. Joining a, a chow chow club, a Labrador club, or maybe a generic dog club would help. Each dog club has their own rules that you have to follow and they have their own best practices. So no two dog clubs is alike. It's best that you find as much help as possible, but be sure that you try to always take the advice with a grain of salt. It's important that you find the right people to ask. So it's very important that when we are looking for advice, ask the right people, ask the right professional. I stands for inspect your home. Is your home puppy proof? Is your home ready? Is everybody ready? Failing to puppy proof your home will not only endanger your puppy, but it will be very costly. I know, because my dog, Sophie, when she was younger, tried to even chew on a myriad of things, from shoes, to bags, to signature watches, yes, even our sofa. Chemicals are very dangerous as well, so make sure that you keep them out of reach. Some chemicals can be very poisonous and can easily be very toxic for your dog when ingested. In short, the best way to keep your puppy safe is to be prepared. Have everything set for your dog. Make sure that your home is ready to accept your new puppy. Make sure that you also inform everybody what not to do and what to do when your puppy comes home. Putting your dog in a crate temporarily when you cannot supervise them would be the best solution in keeping your dog safe. I know there are some pet parents who don't want to put their dog in a crate or a playpen. Let me ask you this, why do we put babies in a crate? And never forget to treat them as a family member. In the end, we owners mustn't forget a dog is always part of the family whether they're young or old, mixed or purebred. Having a dog is like introducing a family member into your home. Never abandon your dog, because your dogs will never abandon you. The emotional investment we have in them will reward you with a lifelong friend that will always stay by your side. Don't forget that strain, T-R-A-I-N. Time, research, ask, inspect never forget to treat them as family again this has been dog coach francis thank you so much for watching the video leave your comments below we make sure that we read your comments at least for the first few hours again this is dog coach francis till next time keep healthy keep safe and don't forget to pet your dog